Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to add an action listener and how to um, make your button do something. So in the last tutorial we set up all this code, we did all this junk, we made a GUI, we ran it, and it looked like this when it pops up. A very simple, very small GUI. Now it doesn't do anything. We can click this print button as many times as we want, as many times as we want, and nothing will happen. So let's make something happen. Um, we are going to start off by importing something. We are going to import two things. We are going to import um, Java.awt.event.actionListener and um, action event. Now I will put these inside the description, so you can paste them. Okay, so now we are going to do one thing here. Last time we did something called extends jpanel, and I explained that. Now we're going to do something called implements. We're going to do implements action listener. <laughs> listener, excuse me. Listener. Um, and so pretty much what this means is it allows you to add um, actions. So pretty much an action could be I clicked on my button, I moved my slider, I put something inside the text field. That can be an action. Now, implements pretty much means add this to my class. Make sure I am able to do this inside my class. Now, the reason we're adding errors is we have errors is because we're missing one thing, but that's okay. We will add that later. So now I'm going to show you how to add an action listener. Last time, in the last tutorial, we added all these guys. The, the variables, we set what the variables are equal to, we did the size, we did added them to the GUI, and we set the bounds. Now we're just going to do one last thing. We're going to add an action listener. So what that means is we're going to listen for actions. So the computer is going to be constantly listening to see, did you do an action? No, they didn't. We won't do anything. Did you do an action now? No, they didn't. How about now? No, you didn't do anything. How about now? Yes. So we're going to do that right now. Let's do print dot add action listener. And then we're going to put this. So what does this mean? Well, this pretty much means this class, this class display. I could type display if I wanted to, but it's much simpler just to type this. Um, so we're going to do print .add action listener this. So we're going to add it to this class. And we are going to do one last thing. We are going to create another method right below our display method. So what we do is we do public void. You know how to create a method. And this method is going to be called action performed. So we type action performed. And then inside the arguments, we're going to put an action event. So action event, and we're going to name this action E. So what the so um, the reason we're doing this is because we need um, what's it called? We need okay, yeah. So when an action happens, um, this method will be called. So when I click my button. This, action, this method will be called, and all the code in here will be executed. So now we're going to check something. We're going to do an if statement. So if e dot get source and then parentheses is equal to print. So that pretty much says if this action came from print. So if I pressed my print button, then do this. Now I'm going to bring this down a little bit so you can see it. Okay, so now we're going to print to the console. Simple as that. So you know how to do that. System out print len. We printed to the. Actually, let's type we pressed the button since that makes more sense. So that's all you need to do. And I'll go through this one last time before doing it. We imported our action event in action listener. We implemented our action listener into our into our class. So that pretty much said. Um, add this action listener to our class. Then we added an action listener to our print button. So what that means is we made it so the computer is constantly listening, saying, hey, is this button being pressed? No, it's not. How about now? Nope. 
And then we did uh, another method called action performed with the arguments action event E. So that pretty much says when something happens, when a button is clicked, when a slider is moved, when a text field has something entered into it, call this method. And then we checked if the source of our action was from our print button. And if so, we said we pressed the button. That is all. Now let's run the program. We're going to save. And we have our GUI. Now let me bring the console up so you can see it. And I'll bring the GUI back. And if I press my print button, you'll see that the console spits out we pressed the button. I can press as many times as I'd like. And that is all to adding an action listener to our program. And I will see you in the next tutorial.